like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. Scientists love to science plane. They have an answer for everything, especially animals, but there are some creatures that have baffled even these brilliant minds so much that if said scientists were cartoons, their eyes would have popped out of their eye sockets in confusion. So if they've confused experts, imagine how confused you're about to be. The creature at number one is an underworld god, so stay tuned tuned for that. Number 10, Argentina Ant. This is hands down the craziest ant in the whole world. Forget strong bites, a super colony of invasive Argentine ants stretches for 560 miles beneath California, from San Diego to San Francisco. The billions of Argentine ants are unlike any ants in many ways, and they are virtually indestructible, along with their super colonies in Europe, Japan, and Australia. Their global domination is rivaled only by that of human beings. Most ant colonies revolve around a single queen, but unlike most ants, Argentines are polygenous. Each nest contains multiple queens. In some, they can form up to 30% of the population. Everything about these ants is different. Unlike other ant species that never move colony, Argentine ants frequently pack up their eggs and moved the entire colony, queen and all, to a new nest, even when there is no apparent threat. These ants are almost almost impossible to eradicate. Their colonies have no natural predators, and thanks to their high levels of cooperation and massive numbers, the craziest part is yet to come. Each spring, just before mating season begins, worker ants go on a killing rampage to assassinate 90% of their queens. Scientists aren't sure exactly why the large-scale execution occurs. However, one hypothesis suggests that it is a spiteful behavior to kill the queens that are less related, on average, to the workers. If that's true, these ants have cracked communism. Number 9. The Platypus The duck-billed platypus is just plain weird and looks like something cooked up in the lab by Dr. Frankenstein. First discovered in the 18th century, it was considered by many to be a ridiculous hoax and not without reason. This was an age when naturalists were creating all sorts of strange creatures with the help of taxidermy and creative imagination. And the platypus's strange features didn't help it either. They might make you think that perhaps an image of a platypus is what gave Dr. Frankenstein the idea for his monster. They classify as mammals, but they also lay eggs, have duck-like bills, beaver-like tails, and otter-like feet. There really isn't an animal quite like the platypus. Male platypuses have ankle spurs that potently deliver poison to kill a dog and cause humans excruciating pain. If you think that's all, you'd be wrong. The platypus also has a sixth sense called electroception, which means they can sense electrical signals and muscles. This means the more the platypus's prey tries to get away, the easier it becomes for the platypus to catch because they can sense their movement anytime. They prefer this ability over the use of their eyes when it comes to hunting. This is the coolest animal I have ever seen. Number 8. Yeti Crab This seafloor is a hot spot for complex cycles, ejecting hot, high-pressure, water-rich sulfur, metals, and more. As one of the most extreme areas in the world, you may think that nothing can possibly survive that pressure, total darkness, and severe temperatures. But life always finds a way, and there is where the Yeti Crab thrives. The Yeti Crab was discovered in 2005. The crustaceans were found near the Pacific Atlantic Ridge south of Easter Island, along with hydrothermal vents. At just less than six inches long, Yeti crabs have beefy and compact bodies to help them adapt to the highly competitive life on the seafloor. To stay alive, the crabs must pile on top of one another, clinging onto each other and the seafloor. However, the defining characteristic of the Yeti crab is its furry claws. Their pincers are covered in blonde seti, hair-like structures that enable them to harvest their main source of food, bacteria. There is still so much we don't know about these crustaceans and the seafloor. It's up to us to ensure our ocean is protected in order to preserve these incredible species. Number 7. Globster In this modern day and age, people still believe that unidentified giant monsters still roam various bodies of water worldwide. In fact, it seems that advances in marine exploration technology have even reinvigorated the search for these legendary creatures. That and the fact that stuff like these get washed up on the beaches worldwide. 
Back in March of 2016, a 13-foot unidentified blob from the sea washed up on a beach in Acapulco, Mexico. Some scientists believe the creature to be a whale and others a squid, and of course, people on the internet think it's a terrifying monster. Whatever it is, the creature appears to have died shortly before beachgoers discovered it. Though it's not fully decomposed, it is well on its way. Number 6. Manatee There's a chance you've never heard of this animal or have seen it on the internet, but didn't know its name. The Florida manatee is one of two species of manatees found in the Americas. While primarily found in central and north Florida freshwater estuaries, the Florida manatee can survive in brackish or pure salt water, leading them to destinations throughout the Gulf of Mexico and as far north as New England. Be aware that manatees are a threatened species. This gentle giant species are known to present a kind of demeanor that are omnivorous, dining primarily on sea seagrass, and other marine plant life. Manatees are affectionately nicknamed sea cows for their large size, slow-moving actions, and friendly disposition. While swimming with manatees is considered a rewarding experience, it is best not to bother or crowd a wandering manatee or manatee aggregation. Not only are they easily frightened, but they also tend to heavily defecate where they spend time. That's not very nice, but we'll allow it for this cutie. Number 5 bumblebee flight. The idea that bumblebees shouldn't physically be able to fly and are somehow defying physics has been embedded in the public's consciousness for a long time. However, more recent studies have revealed that bumblebee is actually using a more complicated system of flight. Michael Dickinson from the University of Washington used a robotic bee wing and high-speed photography to show that bees actually flap left to right as opposed to up and down. This sweeping motion creates tiny low-pressure vortexes that help to keep the bee aloft. While this doesn't give us the whole picture of how a fundamentally non-aerodynamic creature is able to fly, it does shed some light on a number of more complex underlying mechanisms that might be at work. Number 4. Flatworms Forget expensive lotions and potions, the key to becoming immortal is found in flatworms. These worms, which live in lakes and ponds, hold the remarkable ability to reach generate time and time again, effectively living forever. If one is cut in half, the head portion grows a tail and the tail portion grows a head. Cut it into 20 pieces and 20 new worms, each an exact copy of the first are created. Scientists at Nottingham University created a colony of more than 20,000 worms, all from one original whose bodies and organs do not appear to age. Scientists aren't exactly sure why these creatures are immortal like that, but it's believed that the key to the flatworm's immortality is telomeres, which are tiny biological clocks that cap the end of the chromosomes. Normally, they get shorter with time, stopping cells from dividing and renewing and causing the body to age. But in the flatworm, the telomeres stay intact, allowing cells to divide many times and stopping aging in its tracks. If that's true, that makes flatworms truly the only immortal creature in the world. Someone explained this to Darkseid, so he stops attacking us and goes after the worms. Number 3. Sea Selps this one may take a few of you by surprise given the fact that these strange, unassuming creatures aren't exactly responsive in the first place. However, one thing is for certain, salps, which are otherwise considered a species of plankton, are amongst the most expressive species on the planet, and without their sacrifice, the very nature of the seven seas would be at risk. Although they look like a mysterious, alien-like ball of goo, sea salps are remarkable creatures, as well as eating a huge variety of planktonic organisms ranging from bacteria to small animals, sea salps are among the fastest growing animals on Earth, essentially becoming the perfect all-you-can-eat buffet for other sea creatures. Most importantly though, sea salps are responsible for sinking a huge amount of carbon dioxide, effectively absorbing the dangerous gas similar to trees. We don't know why and how they do it, but our planet may well be doomed already without them, so thank you, sea salps. Number 2. Moths to a Flame We know that moths Moths will gravitate towards the light in the dark, and often it is a fatal decision on their part. While we know the behavior, scientists haven't been able to explain why moths do it. Some scientists believe that moths haven't evolved because we now have artificial light, and they're used to their main light source as the sun. But it doesn't make any sense, as we've used fires as a light source for multiple centuries, so it's not a new concept. Another theory is that fire and man-made light show similar pheromones 
on the light spectrum as female moths. And you know the animal kingdom, when there are females involved, it's worth dying for. Number 1. Axolotl Named after the Aztec god, the axolotl is a salamander native to Mexico. Unlike other salamanders, they do not lose their external gills as they grow into adulthood, remaining underwater their whole life. But what's truly unique about them is their ability to regenerate body parts. Some other animals can regenerate limbs, but not like the axolotl. They can regrow their tail, jawbone, skin, and even spine. There is no limit to how many times they can regenerate, and no visible scarring is left. After being almost driven to extinction in the wild, axolotl mostly exist as pets or research specimens. Scientists still don't understand how axolotl can regenerate body parts while humans largely cannot. Amazingly, they can even survive a third of their heart being removed, regrowing it in a matter of weeks. The name axolotl literally means water monster, according to legend. The Aztec god of death once made himself the enemy of most other gods. Not wanting to die, he transformed himself into a strange animal that was the birth of the axolotl. So guys, which one of these animals was the most amazing for you? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.